Okay, so yeah, this is the stockpile and Lerio is bringing a simulated classic, a simulate Nilfgaard here. Angulim is uh, only uh, an 11 provision, 9 points or 8 point play. What is she boosting by now? Ah, you cannot see it. Okay, let's, uh, let's check the mulligans. Uh, Unless I missed the Calvit Mulligan. The very improbable thing happened, but it happens. For honor. And, for and we don't see Calvit here. But yeah, we've been having Gwent World Cup. In its third edition, now without the CDPR overlooking the the game. And this is the tiebreaker. 125th. Okay, 1 in 25 is the chance, but yeah, it can only happen on the on the red coin. Hello, Paya. So yeah. Relatively small chance of it to happen in Enslave 6 list, uh, but there we have it in a very awkward spot as well. So Lerio has uh, a very playable round one hand with all the bronzes now. No Vilgeports to punish things like a Griffin Witcher, but uh, considering you are just throwing stuff at your opponent. Maybe it's better not to bait. Also, Idirnian Molar, the card that sees uh, no play whatsoever, makes an appearance in the World Cup. So, create is a very nice mechanic, opening so many cards. Path so, to so many cards in Gwent. Interesting decision to float that damage. Uh, you can combine the molar with the cool if necessary. We also see that uh, Dora only has uh, Radovid from Royal Decree, but playing Royal Decree means that you are potentially losing the axe to Hanselt. You also didn't get second Siege Master, so you're not. Guaranteed, but without Radovid played, your Temerian infantry loses some some of its power level in playing for only like six boost instead of uh, ten is not what you want to see. Also, I didn't check. This is the deck without Adale, and Gulim is here, but yeah, Adale is replaced by Flotsam basically. In terms of what the cards try to achieve, providing you with the extra Temerian infantry, there is casting contest and uh, floating this damage might be the reason. If, oh, wait, no, 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 there is no Dahlia, so you don't need to break the shield, but you're also not really forced to use it. Okay, so Moller was uh, uh, finding where to land his hammer, and in the end, he got locked. Uh, no target. So, theoretically, Obsidian Mirror is amazing. Reality is, there is a reinforced ballista on the board and Griffin Witcher, so whatever you create at one power will be pinged away, most likely. There is also Siege Master providing you with the third ping. Sure, Ballista has one armor. And that's not providing you with much. Uh, finding an 8-point uh, play with a couple of shields, potentially influencing the Griffin Witcher. Uh, 
a end value although does the value ever end if he's wailed not really okay so that should be rid of it also played at the at the point where uh, your opponent might just pass which makes it a uh, little bit awkward but if you want to go into a long round three instead of setting up your floats um, in round two and going from there if you are risking it against the the new god but instead yeah we do see a rather its order being unclicked there goes the calvit he was guaranteed hiding there it's just that little chance of him not being found which means that Clerio is uh, and uh, look it's Bratens into Taurus now you mulligan like a bronze tactic or a spy you find another gold and then you start questioning why am I playing this Calvit okay second siege master found but no Hanselto you hope to, to pick it up from the siege master or at least find it by the end of the game let's see and there he comes i don't think any maxis or anything was played but the easy call За что булин карче одобряем. I forgot the card names. Unlucky. We also played uh, the voice line game. I never can co correctly guess the voice line from Gwent 1. I didn't forget them, they all seem uh, very familiar, but I cannot ever connect them with the correct palette. So, okay, finally the Calvit. Now the deck is sorted, so all the Artots you missed will be there. Uh, not really a card you want to play. The Siege Tower is potentially good as an extra handselt uh, enabler and we see it picked where does it go if you are trying to tow probably might go between the machine uh, next to the other soldiers machines but uh, reality might be that just uh, just a nice siege engine pickup and a threat but uh, We'll only see a couple of cards left for Dora for round 3 and Hansel might be one of them getting over. So, but it's potentially there to, to be taken advantage of. Although now it's kind of hard to, to see a line where there is a soldier and the the crew is on both Foltest Sprite and this Siege Tower, so most likely. No. Ah, here, here we have it. Now, when you seal the reinforced Ballista, your Obsidian Mirror becomes kind of amazing. Now you have two engines. Your opponent cannot really take advantage of the siege master also providing a kill on a unit but yeah cause your leader we also see float some timerian infantry synergy and points go not not at full brr, but it's more than just brr. Uh, that's for certain buffing for eight two times in a row the thing about timerian infantry trying to get casting contest on on itself is that it rarely happens here we see lerio was uh, unable to just ping it with the reinforced ballistas if you needed just three damage squeeze there you can uh, roll from lydia although nothing guaranteed
Okay, target practice. Um, not the best in terms of Witcher presence uh, on the board there. Gets a little ahead though. So yeah, I was typing, but Alice uh, sent you the link. It's basically just a quiz, but it's not gamified to give you points or anything. Adventures of Calvit uh, progress here. He was hiding in the deck. Now he's switching the board uh, side as well. Lerio can quit for massive second sorting of the deck. If anyone, any card was uh, shuffled incorrectly, you can fix the mistakes. So what do we have? What do we have as a potential? Like Leto can play his bronzes. Bronzes don't get him ahead though. Maybe with vitality, like you get six. Uh, but there is one vitality on the siege tower as well. So instead we do see the coup first. Probably. Were lines where you can pink with reinforced ballistas, uh, but realistically, and that might have been your best coup if you wanted right here, right now. So the pockets are set up since uh, reinforced ballista was stolen, and now you get uh, full value from Siege Tower next to the Hansel and next to the crew. And yeah, Dora says that he doesn't really want to see a simulate uh, sorted by double Calvit uh, in round three. And he will have added here. And uh, <laughs> the points, they quite fastly come. Hmm. So what now? You have your Taurus uh, in the first form, there are still units, so you basically have a triple five for now we see Bratens. Uh, no no connection problems, thank you. So three targets of uh, five provisions should be always available. For Taurus. Uh, Doris hand is uh, by no means amazing. But he already has done the stockpile Hansel, so he's uh, ahead and there is no Vilgefortz for Lirio. So what do we see in here? Torres playing for what? 18? And then uh, if, uh, if Dora plays everything, I don't think you can have the reach so should be dead on the board unless Dora decides to pass the cards are playing for five six points maximum not spill blood to make you suffer like never before on the other hand do we really want to okay while I was talking about do we really want to play into Vilgefortz even more Dora says that uh, yes, please. I will have that extra value coming from the order. And now the heat wave value also improved by by two points. 
So I think we have ourselves a GG. I also pretty sure even without the heat wave, the reach is just not there. Although there is at least a couple of pinks uh, and one vitality, so. Yeah, we take the Don't heat. Give up easy, do you? Uh, obligatory BM, I suppose? Not sure. Why, but uh, we've seen this I all their spamming emotes uh, after the rolls uh, beneficial to self and non beneficial. And now Dora goes uh, to the same route. I guess they learn from Archie. Dora Joski. No, пришел побеждать. So that, uh, that being Wilgefortz would have been a little bit better, but can you even draw Wilgefortz? There was a couple of uh, golds which was almost guaranteed. Uh, Cyprian Wiley sends his regards to the Madoc. Nothing you can do about that, that's just how the card works. It should jump out of your deck, you are playing bombs for that. If people decide to be mean to you and play Cyprian Wiley and Northern Winds... Это конец. Who played first match? Uh, Lerio played against... Uh, so Poland, Poland was playing against Team Ukraine. Lerio representing Team Poland in both. Player teams were allowed to choose their champions or they can switch players between rounds but uh, the duty is on the most active team Poland player Lerio has been competing so that's a clean answer to to the last one as the pink was guaranteed And now we say goodbye to Madoc. We also see no presence of uh, Le Lerio. Leto in uh, Dora's hand. Um, so it wouldn't be available to copy. And no Phoenix. So for, for now, this is all for the carryover, and it's all about bombing for Dora. <laughs> so one and regular but that cannot be danced around anymore that easily but yeah na nice finds there from dora in first round ah ah okay yeah sure then no problem you can just where, where is the bm Samu moves adjacent units to the other row and doesn't say that the target the non-moved unit. Correct? Correct. So not the great deck for Larva. But I guess the first one could have been with health uh, and the first rider could have been played to at least... Uh, make the pinks random oh, yeah koshi has a clean answer to to madoc doesn't have uh, much in terms of controlling the sappers so you are suffering here so D dora is being mean here but Madoc players who feel offended by the Cyprian Wiley inclusion feel uh, redeemed. So that uh, the deck is performing at least in round one well, relying on the sappers and bombs without Madoc. Ok, 
can it be continued? You still have two bombs. You can create a extra sapper if you want to try and search for something. So yeah, no reason for Dora to pass. We see pink, pink, pink. Without uh, without the Artorius for now because there is a little reason with only one bomb as well. Now Artorius comes. Uh, so let's see the top deck pick up. Phoenix would be a nice one. Stop your yapping and start digging. Another bomb. You are probably sending a message to your opponent with not targeting one of the Renfries gang and killing a dog instead. That you might possess that, but that's uh, just a little bit of information. Not like you can play around that too much. The bomb will be playing. Plus, there end up being same coming, so. If rolls are favorable for Lerio. Oh, wait, no. Nah, not true. The bomb is played first. Nothing in terms of standard bearer. Okay, so just a little bit of armor then. Also not seen. The bomb come here instead. Dora says uh, that I'll develop that artifact and against Koshe you have uh, imprisonment of course. But you can also just bleed out the Koshi and Artifact might help with that. If you are like, seriously bleeding and not just trying to... To have fun with playing bad cards in round 2. Nothing for this force of nature to support. Uh, it's a menace on its own, but uh, yeah, no tribe units survived. This was kind of fast, but the rope is burning, so we'll just look. Play a bronze, which will be inactive, which will send message to Dora that uh, two cards are most likely not getting played here. Since the passive was found for 4 points though, we do see Dora clicking that Masha Truffle. So is there a reason to keep the Riptide or trade to rip, uh, trade the Riptide? You just seen your opponent play Red Haze. Chances are they have more bad cards anyway, especially with sappers uh, not being really picky. And yeah, Lero decides to keep it. Although, yeah, fighting Nozikas is uh, not really ideal, it's still a 10 point body that triggers your. Uh, Because your tribes or potentially you're clashing uh, with Phoenix, denying that Lerio. Uh, why is it Lerio King Slayer? I don't know, Lerio King Slayer, but yeah, somebody just have at it and make Lerio King Slayer emote. We have a photo of him from official CDPI events anyway. That's an easy flanking unit created. Uh, also, of course, we don't see 
a couple of impactful cards here. There is no Madoc though. That's the that's the thing. So Roderick is guaranteed picking up the last artifact left in deck, last gold card. The bomb uh, should be the choice. Don't really want to play Nausicaa's while pushing. Well, let's not forget that there are four passive points available. You kind of want to guarantee the value, but then you are losing six points on uh, on your location. So that that must have been an awkward spot to be in. So yeah, the Phoenix is saved. The Kingslayer will come through. Do do we see the clash with the light cavalry because it's still playing for for a few points? Of course, this is uh, armored. Can you like you know? Oh uh, well. Seeing five cards, you know that your opponent is playing double Nausicaa and Slave Driver most likely. Not sure what you're even doing here as Lerio. Okay, you rope till the end of the turn and play and pick and hopefully everything is queued correctly. Double trigger happened. And yeah, so the Phoenix uh, is doubled, carry over is doubled, but yeah, it comes at a cost of War Council, so... Dora plays fast, uh, Lirio ropes, yeah. It do be like that. Okay, so 8 points of carry over here, if we count L Lirio's passive from the Renfried, and he also has 4, but uh, instead we do see the forfeit here. So yeah, go and upload the latest video. Let's see, let's not... Uh, come to the sudden conclusions. If there is a breaking deck, then probably Precision Strike is more breakable than this. But even Guerrilla Tactics has its moments. And although we do see Dora running two copies of Bronzes, so backup plans are there as a backup play seamless, you need also to find it. Я согласен с тем, что ты говоришь. Спасибо. Спасибо. Товарищ Фил Гудсмен, Филс Гудмен, благодарю за поддержку. So Frenzy Dao active. We are not running Mahakam volunteers here, we as in Dora. There is no precision strike leader, so yeah, amount of breaks is uh, definitely lower. We do see Calvit in hand this time around, so he's uh, he's not hiding in deck every time when Lerio kills Nilfgaard on red. We see Torres, Torres has uh, access to... <laughs> this is 11. So Torres says uh, not having a widest array of uh, choices here. You take what you are given, Torres, basically. Never had your kneecaps broken. 
Wearing those later, we should have adjusted the deck and took the um, amnesties that Sif was running. Would have been nice to yoink a skirmisher. Instead, you have to joust with the dwarf. So, Maxi, yeah, so Lero kept the cards uh, and Nailed just thinned out some of the tactics, I assume. One was answered, the second can be answered with Duchess's informant. Uh, there is a battle prep, so theoretically, you can re armor it. But you can also just take Dwarf and Chariot card is uh, quite nice. It's just that if, if you wanted to deny Square some points, you can go for that. Her grace will not Instead be just, yeah, goes for the Dwarf and Chariot. Also, all units are above the offering and not re easily lined up for the kills. Uh, any anything you move uh, triggers Milva, and she won't have uh, the nicest time. And yeah, here we see that the backup plan becomes Plan A, and the armor is being spread uh, on the units from hand instead. Иногда планы меняются, и план А становится планом Б. So what now? You playing Calvit? You are still ahead. Not sure about Calvit being the right most card, but at the moment I guess the saboteur is not reaching that. Amount of power. To guarantee the kill. Uh, wait, what? Mm, okay, so yeah, we're just not not doing the Milva shenanigans to. So yeah, that's what I was leading towards, and we are witnessing it here. You don't really want to move anything because Milva will be lost, and those big units uh, help with that. To be an honest man, hey, your ship. help us drive away the hooligans. Don't drive away the hooligans, please. We need some hooligans here in chat. Okay, and with the last second of the turn, the armor armor lands on Calvit. Steal a hat, um, negative point, not negative, but bad point, Cyprian Wiley. We also see Milva jumping out as the uh, offering was dead. Something needed to be done. Uh, can you do something about that, Milva? You can joust from false city. Is it worth it? Kind of hard to get you onto your side of the board afterwards. Hope you are feeling better, Shipu. And you metal as well. Why, why do you guys need to get sick and all? You have Gwen to organize and uh, run and play and watch. Maybe the of the heat 
Okay, so a leader charge for stout. Otherwise, uh, Dennis Cranmer would have been playing for what, three points less. <coughs> also, yeah, this Milva is potentially being lost for Dora as uh, hiding six points might be forcing him to lose an event, but. Yeah, Lerio takes uh, and takes an out from this round, uh, preserving Terra Nova, Fall City, and also guaranteeing himself good draws. Let's see how it goes for the seamless man. Is he coming? Not, not now. Too much Gwent? Uh, okay, I can see that being... I've been talking too much as well, although yesterday I wasn't casting anything. But, yeah. It was a nice weekend of Gwen, though. So without Seamless, uh, Dora just decides to leave the round as is and take it into a long round three scary against the simulate always scary uh with uh cranmer gun i suppose Vilgeforts was not finding all the targets possible still would have been nice to to deal with uh, the chariot though You run more tournaments than a six-person huge Gwent team. There will be a... Mitra fan is in chat. Uh, there will be a big tournament this week and the prize pool is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, over 1,000 euros. Competing will be Sintian Lions, uh, Archies, uh, Ifiches and all those players uh, taking most of the top 16 positions lately in Gwent. It's an invitational. This is Poland versus uh, citizens of Russia now. Zdarovo, Kilzak. I guess Dora is uh, not playing by his usual name, usually changing the username every month, so. Yes, all info under Kung Fu Cam. Well, three teams are competing. What's the scores? So far, we had one game finish, and you can see that Poland is with one point. Uh, Lerio has beaten the holder in first game. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was the offering setup can buff the seamless uh, so that it's not as easy to cool there were double imperial deep double battle prep <coughs> guys it's not a battle for su survival so to say this game doesn't eliminate anyone dora is from team citizens of russia And this is their first game. And if they lose, they are playing Ukraine tomorrow. If Poland wins, it's a battle for Poland to progress and avoid playing tomorrow. Full City is an uh, unexpected target uh, of the Banish here. I know the truth. 
Okay, I now that we are set on uh, who is playing who and why, um, let's uh, watch the end of it. So Seamless is there from a Neuromancy. How many giant slayers have we seen today? This is third After of the, the day. Of Interesting. Tournament is happening in the free flowing way. Uh, teams uh, choosing who is playing at their own volition. Nobody is out till they are. They are playing till the two victories. Your name, young man, demands you be cursed into an earth. Okay, so as if uh, there was not enough giant slayers, another giant slayer appeared. It is armored. It will be being in that Cyprian Wiley. What is the Shiro play here? You can go for eight. But uh, your uh, your opponents assimilate uh, units uh, being armored up here, so that's annoying. A seven is not doable after the forbidden wild was used already. Okay, so Artorius potentially. And I'm not going for that. You can all you could have buffed something with emissary, but that makes it risky because uh, Shiru can be reaching eleven points. Oh, how lovely it okay, so here we have an eight burn. Uh, without many data charges, without any damage on the board. Uh, Dora decided that he's not having the best time with this Shiru and the value is already there. So Lerio's coup is not looking too hot. Lerio's... Uh, Stefan will be necessary to set up the leader still. You can also set up uh, a coup, of course, but for now it must be just leader. Uh, for the workshop. A person of trifling no, okay. I guess. Uh, I guess that sorts uh, out the leader. Uh, Giant Slayer army, some working for ya. But now they don't have any work, those two. Okay, connection lost, uh, but uh, by the looks of it, uh, it's not only connection that might have been lost for Dora there for a second. Dude, stop. And instead of Queen Shiro. The coup comes for the bear. Boop! Stop it! Stop! The, the, you are not, not the self-wound package, Giant Slayer. It's a funny interaction, though. Only one with no sense would trust the word of a drive. So, backup plans are there. Playing for a few points, but uh, even rolling the double uh, bonded unit, but not enough. And Lerio starts his comeback. Let's see how that uh, goes. 
Okay, so game number four between Team Poland and Team Citizens of Russia. Um, later fighting for progression to the semi-final. Team Russia fights for the first uh, point to give them a solid, solid uh, ground to stand in day two tomorrow. So today we started at 5 p.m. CET tomorrow same time. Hopefully here. If anything changes, uh, well, pay attention to Discord. It might be on Metal's channel, but hopefully I am here tomorrow as well. At least that's the plan for the moment. But a uh, link is in chat. Follow the Discord. And uh, also you can get uh, an occasional community tournament like yesterday we had. A tournament with Golden Neckers only. Only decks with Golden Necker. Also, if you have any ideas, uh, well, you can share it with me. Don't spam at all with the ideas. He has a plan already, but... Oh, yeah, you can... Sp it's that you can... Sp you should spam. If there is no 10 Metal Gwens in chat, I will be disappointed from 10 different people. Uh, Chatters, I will be totally disappointed because man needs some la not metal. What are you doing? There we go. Keep them coming. So for now, this is the koshe, the the blue coin koshe with the curse scroll to guarantee the draws of koshe and Karantir avoids uh, doing it with the curse scroll already in hand there is a kitten you need to find yes you figured it out you figured it out but to be fair dora is what 13 years old so what can you do, right? Uh, yeah, no, no magnet division profit. Damage enemy by one is uh, turning the skirmisher off. But you don't have soldiers. Catch him! He's worth 20 florins! If the tar target is left at one power, there we go. Skyatel, attack! <coughs> another another skirmisher appears. So you you would love to have a uh, Mount Arto or Sir or even Cyprian Wiley, although the chariot front row says that Cyprian Wiley is not that great. We do see that though, I guess for the round one play instant play grab it and play it immediately yes that's uh, that's the plan Lady that's a long way to travel for this road just to go to the graveyard and finally we see milva do something useful here actually hiding into the deck Uh, there are more ones on the board, of course, uh, we do see a brick combo here for Dora. So not, not sure if you want to throw it away being 20 points behind. Yes, yeah, Cyprian Wiley became like quite clutch. Unless you're playing it from Joachim, where uh, your opponent has randomly played it from Joachim, and you have. Although, okay, from Joachim, you just banish Joachim. 
So from some random tutor that forces you to banish your own card, it finds value most games. But I also never expected the Arch Griffin in the competitive uh, setting, if I'm honest. Yes, those are abusable cards, but nobody really abused them while CDPR was still running the game. And then suddenly we have it uh, perform quite well, so I'm happy. It's not really niche. You can banish, uh, like, Larva. You can banish whatever soldier new guard plays. Uh, so its niche is pretty wide. Play the chariot back row, banished. Uh, any square deck runs that, almost any. Banish? Okay, yeah. A round of applause for ya. I am, yeah. I appreciate the effort. Uh, when Lemon is not casting with me, at least we have Theo being the sidekick uh, in this. Uh, oh, and Wholesome is. Uh, Wholesome is triggered immediately. Good job uh, at summoning him from the shadows. One worthy one? No. Where is Mil? Sadly, Lerio is playing more serious decks today as uh, 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 rules of the tournament allow running cards above 9 provisions. <laughs> non golden Necker decks, he decided to opt for something else. Mil will be tomorrow on YouTube. Boss doesn't like me. So, Dora shouldn't be concerned about being too out with seamless uh, Danish Cranmer available. <coughs> now he fixed his hand, Frenzy Tao is uh, alright as well, Milva is still in deck. Wait, that's a nice start for the song. Just move a sheep or watch your mouth. And you got yourself some coolio going. And best girl, thanks for the follow. Wait, the last follower was an hour ago. I'm re really honored, guys, that 140 of you are already following me and following Mattel's uh, tournament. I would expect 140 of you also being on Mattel's competitive. Gwen Discord. Gwen is a very tight group. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Gbait it turns out. Spasibu a follow, Sam. Thanks for your follows. There we go. That's what I mean, yeah. Okay, so seam Seamless is uh, taken uh, for the damage. Uh, double damage finding the kitten, sadly Seer scratch a lot, dies, but at the same time you haven't seen any workshops from your opponent. Lerio can go all in here, but the problem is uh, there are Gorilla Tactics charges, so stuff might get moved. Oh, Vangi is here as well. <laughs> okay, Wholesome remembers. That's a nice find. Haven't seen Vangi in a while. But, um, yeah. The, the command Vangi follows anyway. Okie dokie. So, yeah. Cyprian Wiley finding another niche for himself. And... Uh, only playing for a bunch of points here. There is a second crochet, but he meets a heat wave only triggering the 
the double larva here. Instead, uh, the fast button is found and the heat wave is out. So the Lerio didn't get the reentry carry over, which must feel a little bit awkward for him. Did the sim uh, did get the seamless out? So the workshops will have to come from hand to guarantee the Kranmer value. Koshi cannot really de deny the work presence unlike the Gorilla Tactics uh, mirrors we were watching during the open qualifiers uh, where the Gorilla Tactics decks struggled a little bit. Here it should be fine. So wondering what Shiro Burn will be. Should at least get a couple of larva. And here we have it. Uh, your Neuromancy is most likely also going for that. So Cranmer will be quite massive. Uh, searching for 8 damage, uh, most likely Curse of Pride is there. Play a Bronze is uh, also a possibility. If you want to combine Koshi with, uh, with a play and get something like a Mind Trap. So maybe you allow Chariot to be one per turn engine instead. Mount Art is uh, pretty massive. Fifth, uh, wait, that's four rows of units plus one. And now Podora is the question: Do we, do you trigger Shiro here? Do you hope for them to line up at six? Oh, it burns. The answer is uh, Shiro stays. Uh, open deck lists. No damage picked from Renfrey abilities. Uh, nothing can be done about this Shiro. No reason to be triggered. Of course, there is a reason to be triggered uh, if you want to deny the tribes, but if you are expecting them to line up, that would be main job for Lerio to avoid that happening. So he knew that he's seen everything. Another mind trap comes. Do at some point just consume uh, larva itself? Not yet. Also, seven is like the perfect number for units to stay at. You can play another Necker Warrior. Uh, okay. Oh, nice line. Okay, there we go. The the reason to kill the chariot was uh, potentially that. Okay, that was nasty. And Shiro. <laughs> limited point by, by so much uh, Lero was uh, nicely playing around that but uh, there we go so massive mount art still and no last save for Lero also that was that Cranmer was triggered to achieve a massive Shiro which means that uh, The workshop value has not been full. Uh, there is the spores are still worse, and yeah, the verification has been 
here. A lot of units died, but you see the number. Uh, uh, you see the number? There was a runestone or something. There was a double trigger, but uh, it didn't go to 59 because there was one special. Morgue went. There we go. Okay, so yeah, as said, uh, same deck, same coin. Now, can they repeat this feast? Uh, so, watch out. Milva goes out. Uh, Dora has uh, Chariot, has Skirmishers. A couple of playable cards for certain. Lerio. In possession of Larva. Riders were tainted as a first card, if I'm not mistaken, last time around. If you are expecting the Chariot, you can do that, but you have the Riptide. Okay, no. Just uh, while you... Nobody has dominance, uh, just play them out. So now the larva comes, uh, but uh, we see the skirmisher ready to go. Never had your kneecaps broken. It can be activated again with the chariot. Also double we have. double workshop in hand leads uh, to me believing that Oniromancy might be played on Cranmer in this round and we'll get uh, the seamless backup plans. It's just too good to not use to kill the immune Sir, Sir Scratch a lot. Not even two meters high, yeah. On all those uh, photos uh, of giants from the community tournaments, you you are the shortest one as usual. I've seen them, yeah. Everyone is like at least three meters tall in Gwen community. Uh, so yeah, the question is, there, there were playable bronzes and cards in Dora's hand. Uh, there are some man, uh, menacing points on the board from Lerio already though, so... Can you continue playing? Oh, this time around we don't have the Cyprian Wiley taken to deal with the Skirmisher, by the way. But yeah, the Skirmisher is being activated. We're probably seeing the Roach once again. Okay, Larva is a better target this time around. But yeah, Milva deals with a couple of uh, threats. So this is still a close round. And considering three units, uh, double workshop. And taxes to Cranmer. This can go for a while unless uh, Lerio decides to leave. But uh, no reason, on, uh, really do that just yet to play the armorers workshops so beautification is being taken here you you also have the flexibility of uh, oniromancy if you if you feel like playing mahakam pass uh, although earth, not really sky, sure sky. why would you go for that line in round one If anything, Dora can go for the leader charges combining with Milva or for this Shiro. Uh, 
uh, minus 18 on Lirio's side of the board. Poche and all those drives should feel safer now. Would you prefer a loss on even to losing your leader and playing rent free? Leader achieves nothing but playing for 9 points, so that's not really majestic. Instead we do see first Koshi landing and then do you even go for leader? You know that your Koshi is dying at a very high probability oh like well you don't know what your opponent has but there is a great chance that there is some damage and it can be picked off by milva if anything instead just a clean kill Lerio didn't really want to jam leader But now what? <laughs> now it's probably a little bit too late to do that as well. No, goes for this. So this is just leader and grand then. Wanna know why? Base damage, damage, destroy and eat. No player bronze unless I miss that, and also no passive four, but instead uh, a passive for every turn. So we have destroy and eat, which means that the second chariot might be in danger. Uh, also the Cranmer target, whatever that might be. So, a pass is uh, being offered here. Also, one armor pack is gone. We still get uh, pretty decent value from Cranmer. Cranmer is just a card on steroids. Mm, probably even without uh, double armor, at least for its provisions. Like, sure, it's not playing for, for Taurus points round one as easily and lacks the flexibility, but for its cost, it's pretty darn great. So for Dora we still have uh, Heatwave and Seamless and Mahakam Pass and now Koshe cannot be really triggered by the Rent Free. So Wily is important as well. So what's the cutest play you can do? Not sure what that's supposed to mean. I read this. There you go. Like not not, not really seeing any contribution from messages like this on stream. So Maxi is uh, a meaningful play, costs you a leader charge though. Even offering like uh, trading with the Koshi without uh, a rent is passive. So 
so yeah, you'll definitely need some some units you would need an answer to mount art so you are interested in heat wave or karate heat wave seamless you need to find something into your hand cannot go okay so spores is basically a heat wave against mount art and still can be improved but you also don't have a wait there is one mulligan so one backup plan should be traveling back into the deck then yeah now there are two of them that is fine you have your uh four provision heat wave you have answer to indregalarva Or she cannot hurt you as it did before. What is your favorite monster deck? It was always a uh, swarm with uh, bone talismans, Yennefer, and trees. Like I, I like Tugos and I yeah, it modified into the Plague Maiden Swarm. So I probably go for the Swarm, but with the Plague Maiden instead. Haven't played it in ages. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? So how do we even get there if you are Lerio without your leader to? To save Koshe. Hey, new here. I'm Kun for Rabbit. Nice to see you here. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, wait. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, I forgot about the passive. So. Pink, pink, it's still at 5 power. Now you pink and now you can offering that. That's a lot of uh, wasted potential. Uh, you are also you losing a unit, but uh, that's not an issue with Seamless. Playing for the damage cards instead of uh, the workshops. And yeah, at the moment, points are definitely lacking. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with But as I said, the Cranmer, even with one workshop. Is a lot. There are still points on Mahakam Pass as well. I'll feed you to the crows. <laughs> yeah, not the most uh, exciting man trap as well. So this is a Cranmer against the Montar that is getting reset and this looks like team... Uh, wait, yeah. No, yeah, wow. The DM, look, look at him go, but Dora gets the win number three for Team Citizens of Russia and that means that Poland will have to play tomorrow, GG's. Uh, that's 3-1 against uh, a very nice competitor, competitor from Dora, but Dora was also playing nicely in the tournaments whenever he was participating and being active. Da, Dora, конечно, сила. So this is uh, updated... Uh, 
table as well. Two teams in pole position, Poland and citizens of Russia at one, Ukraine at zero, but Ukraine also only played one game. 